So what is the best champion for each spatula item? In patch 10.17 with the introduction of a new galaxy called Manatee's Delight where all players receive a spatula at the start of the game, people have been asking me which champions make the best use of each spatula item. We're going to be going over that right now. Let's start off with the Blade Master spatula, which is spatula plus the sword. Blade Master's basic attacks have a chance to trigger two additional attacks against their target. These additional attacks deal damage like basic attacks and trigger on hit effects. So you want this item on champions that deal a lot of physical damage. This item's really good on champions like Zed. This is probably the best champion to use it on because it fits so well in the six Blade Master composition where you run Master Yi carry. Zed just becomes as powerful as the Master Yi if he gets to three stars, and he pretty much just shreds through anything in the back line. The next two champions that I recommended on, it's good on them, but it's nowhere close as it is good on Zed. These two champions are Vayne and Jinx. So if you're running Rebels, you're running two Blade Masters already in Master Yi and Yasuo. So adding in like a third Blade Master with Jinx, it's not a bad idea. It's not great. It's not bad. It's just like a decent item because it's the buff is really just for Jinx, but like you could put so many other items on her, such as Giant Slayers, RFCs, the usual items, um, that she doesn't really need this Blade Master spatula to really shine, but it does make your Yasuo and Master Yi a tiny bit stronger. In Cybernetics, Blade Master spatula works really well on Bane. I wouldn't say it's one of her best items. I personally like having Giant Slayers, Last Whisper, Infinity Edges on Vayne. But if you have an extra spatula, if you're forced to make this item, go ahead and put this item on Vayne. It's not bad at all. Personally, when I play Cybernetics, I like to save my spatula for making Infiltrator spatula on Aurelia, which we'll get into later. But again, if you have the Blade Master spatula for the Vayne, go ahead and make it. It's still pretty decent on her. Next up, we have the Infiltrator spatula. Infiltrators have the ability at the start of the round, they jump to the enemy's back line and Infiltrators gain attack speed for 6 seconds at the start of combat and refreshes on takedown, and this bonus changes based on how many Infiltrators that you have. So, the best champion that uses this is Aurelia like we just talked about, and this is because, similar to the way Zed works, um, Aurelia just jumps to the back line, kills everything, so that's why Infiltrator Spatula is so good on her. Next up in Mech Infiltrator, pretty much anyone can hold the Infiltrator Spatula. It's just like a decent item because then you don't have to run Shaco, or you could jump up and run for Infiltrator whenever you play the Mech unit, but you can pretty much put this on anyone. Generally, I put this on Ziggs or Gangplank, um, just because you can stun a unit in the back line with Ziggs early in the game, and then you just transfer the items over to Gangplank once you find them. Other good users of the Infiltrator Spatulas are ones that don't really care about the synergy that it gives, but just use the ability really well. And these champions are Jace, Nico, and Wukong. Pretty much all these tanky melee units with like a bunch of area of effect abilities, they're really good with the Infiltrator Spatula because they jump to the back and either do a lot of damage or do a lot of CC to people's back line. The last person that I think can use Infiltrator Spatula are champions like Zarath and Master Yi. They're not the best with it, um, but if you're forced to make the item, you could go ahead and put it on them. Say, say you have the extra item slot on them. So Zarath, you could do it if he has for Celestial or he has something like a Gunblade so that he could heal up if he's tanking a lot after he jumps to the back line. Same thing for Master Yi, you only want to play him if you have some sort of tank items, maybe like a Rabidon's Death Cap so he heals more, or like a Bramble Vest or Warmogs. Again, not the best item on Zerath or Master Yi, but they make great use of the attack speed if you have to build this item. Next up we have the Rebel Spatula. Rebel is a very strong synergy, it gives a shield to everyone and it amplifies their damage in the beginning of the game. So the best units for this, whenever you're playing six rebels, you always want to be at least one rebel spatula, just because you get to run much stronger units instead of some of the bad rebel units. So my favorites for this is using Fizz, because he makes the best use of the shield and damage buff, because he's always going to go off, and he might get two ultimates off if he has the rebel shield. Next up we have Echo, same story. Also these two units, they benefit from the Infiltrator buff when you run the Zed in the Rebel composition, so that's why these two are my favorite holders for this item. But same story for Echo, the shield just guarantees that he goes off and he gets a bit of damage amplification. Next up we have Gangplank, another popular person in the Rebel composition. Um, you could go ahead and do like a semi surround on him. You want to keep Gangplank on the front line, but sometimes with the rebel buff, he's able to cast even without a guardian angel, which is why this is a really strong item on him. If I had a spare chain vest, and I had the choice between getting a spatula or a sword on a carousel, I'd still take the sword though to build a guardian angel. Last up we have Nar, again another person that can be useful in the rebel composition, or in the blaster brawler composition. You could just go ahead and put it on him, put him on the front line, give him some more shields, and 
This just ensures that he goes off slightly more than he would before. Next up, we have Celestial Spatula. This one's built with a spatula and a Negatron cloak. This item's not that great, um, but sometimes if you could get to four Celestial, it's pretty decent. And there isn't really any good user for this item because the Celestial Spatula doesn't actually give any bonus to the individual unit apart from the magic resistance. So generally, I just put this unit on any tank in the front line who needs it. Next up, we have the Battlecast Spatula, which is a spatula and rod item. So generally, like even though this spatula gives a trait benefit, which is Battlecast champions upon dealing or taking 10 instances of damage, heal if below half health or deal magic damage to the nearest enemy if above half health. And this amount changes based on how many battle casts you have. It is a great bonus, but you really just build battle cast spatula to reach the next battle cast threshold, whether it be like six battle casts or eight battle casts. Um, so the unit you put this on really doesn't matter because your item holder, which like gets all these battle cast procs off, is mainly Kog'Maw. So you're really just building the spatula item to buff the Kog'Maw, not necessarily the unit you put on the field. But with that in mind, let's go into some cha possible champions that could use this, and these are going to be mainly champions that belong in the battle cast compositions. So this includes Graves, Malphite, Nar, Ezreal, and Aurelian Soul. It really doesn't matter who gets this. It depends which version of the composition you're running, but these are generally the good holders that I like to use. Next up, we have the Star Guardian Spatula, which is a spatula plus tiers. Star Guardian spell cast grant mana to other Star Guardians spread among them, and... This is 15 mana at 3 star guardian, 25 at 6, and 60 at 9 star guardian. So you really want to put this on a champion who likes to cast a lot, and hopefully pretty often. So my favorite user of this is Victor. He's probably the most common user of the star guardian spatula item just because he's a sorcerer and star guardians are normally played in sorcerer compositions. So Victor is the most obvious one that comes to mind. Really strong with it, probably one of the better items on him if you don't have other mana items instead. And it's a really nice way to get to six Star Guardians so you don't have to run some of the bad units. Another person who's really good with the Star Guardian spatula is Aurelian Soul. He casts a lot, so he's going to be granting a lot of mana to all your other Star Guardians and really just activate your whole team. This makes it so Zoe, Nico, and Janna get a lot more crowd control off, and it makes it so that champions like Syndra, Ari, and Soraka also get their cast more often to either deal damage or heal your team. The next two champions aren't going to make too much sense, but they are very good with the Star Guardian spatula, and this is Jin and Jinx. So, I know what you guys are going to ask. These champions don't use mana. Why are they good with the Star Guardian spatula? Well, if we read Janna, who is a Paragon, we see that Paragon gives the trait Ally Star Guardian basic attacks are converted to true damage. All other ally basic attacks are converted to magic damage. So if you put a Star Guardian Spatula on Jin or Jinx and you have Janna on your team, Jin and Jinx are going to be doing true damage, which greatly increases the total amount of damage that they do throughout the course of the game. So that's why I really like Star Guardian Spatula on Jin or Jinx if you have Janna. Next up we have Protector Spatula, which is Spatula plus Giant Spelt. Protectors shield themselves for 4 seconds whenever they cast a spell, and this shield does not stack. Similar to the Star Guardian Spatula, you want to put this on champions that cast a lot, but this time you want them to have a lot of health as well, or maybe some unit that actually takes some damage. So my favorite users of this is Aurelian Soul. If you get a Warmogs and Protector Spatula on Aurelian Soul, he pretty much 1v9s the entire game at like a 2-star Aurelian Soul, so he is by far the best user of it. One of the best early game item holders for Protector Spatula is Darius. Again, since Darius casts a spell whenever he kills a unit, he's going to be getting a ton of casts off. He's going to be getting a lot of shields, and he's pretty much never going to die in the beginning of the game if he gets Protector Spatula and some sort of ability power items. What I like to do is play Darius in the beginning, and then once I get Aurelian Soul, sell the Darius, and then swap the Protector Spatula onto the Aurelian Soul. Other good users of Protector Spatula are Syndra, Cassiopeia, and Shaco, and this is just because they can be used in a couple of these Protector compositions um, as some of the either complementary units or as some of the damage dealers. They're not the best on these three champions, but it's like a pretty good item on them. The last Spatula item we have is the Dark Star Spatula, which is Spatula plus Glove. And Dark Stars have the trait, whenever an ally champion dies, all other allied Dark Star champions gain attack damage and spell power, and this number depends on how many Dark Stars you have. My favorites for these are Fizz and Echo because they fit in a lot of Dark Star compositions because you generally want to add an Infiltrator to buff your Shaco whenever you run 4 or 6 Dark Star. Another person who can use this is Teemo when you play Astro Sniper. 
It's not the best item on Teemo, but again, if you have nothing better to put on him, you could go ahead and grab a Dark Star Spatula for him. Teemo also has a benefit of living really long since he's always in the back lines, so he's generally going to make the most use out of the Dark Star Spatula. Now, I said Dark Star Spatula was the last item, but we actually have one more, and that's Force of Nature, which is Spatula and Spatula. So this is a really good item. Build it as often as you can because it fits in literally every composition. But don't forget, when you're playing Cybernetics, put Force of Nature on one of your Cybernetic units because Cybernetics have a bonus whenever they have an item equipped and they gain health and attack damage so don't forget to put this on your units don't leave force of nature on your bench whenever you play cybernetics but that's it for me today let me know if you guys have any wacky spatula item combinations what are some of your strategies for the manatee galaxy let me know in the comments down below if you guys enjoyed this video go ahead hit the like button if you haven't already and you want to hear more about TFT, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. I've actually noticed that a lot of the people watching my videos are not subscribed, around 81% of you. So if you guys haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and hit the button down below. It's been like this for a couple months now, so I'm guessing people are repeatedly watching my videos but not subscribing. I'm, that's, that's heartbreaking, man. Let's go ahead and change that. And finally, if you guys want to support me even more, I have opened up channel memberships so you can look at the benefits down below. And also, go ahead and look in the description to find out where I am on Twitter, Instagram, and all the other social media platforms. But apart from that, I'll see you guys next time. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to share and subscribe. And of course, smash that like button. Each like is an LP I gained before the next video.